I can sow a seed and a garden will grow. I can sow an idea and change will happen. Hi, I'm Henry and I'm a junior wildlife ambassador for the Wildlife Trust for Bedfordshire, Cambridgeshire and Northamptonshire. Whether your outside space is big or small, by welcoming wildlife back into our window boxes, backyards and gardens, we can make a positive change by gardening for a wilder future. Let's get started. Nature tries to survive anywhere, the edge of the road, the corner of your garden, even cracks in walls. In total, British gardens make up an area of land about two-thirds of the size Bedfordshire, Cambridgeshire and Northamptonshire combined, but unfortunately, much of it isn't wildlife friendly. Just imagine what difference it would make if we let some of this area go wild. This could mean letting one corner grow wild or adding native flower to pots, window boxes or flower beds to benefit our pollinators. Another thing you can do is to leave some grass to grow because this will increase the diversity of plants such as clovers, which bees love. Finally, do not tidy up too much. It's amazing what you can find living in a pile of fallen leaves tucked away out of sight. Providing homes and habitats for a range of wildlife will provide such a boost for the environmental health of your outside space. One of the simplest things you can do for wildlife is provide a pile of logs, leaves or even stones and it will become a habitat for many beasts, bugs and even amphibians. If you've got a tree or wall, putting up a bird box is a great thing to do. You can get different types that suit different birds. So take a look at which birds already visit your garden. Often birds will start investigating straight away. You can also get back boxes that provide a safe home. This is really useful as suitable bat roost locations are declining. Bees and bug hotels are a cool addition to a garden. They don't need to be big to make a difference. Look at all these bees moving into the canes in this one. Finally, take a look at the Wildlife Trust website for details on how to build a hedgehog house. If you've got a suitable space and your garden is accessible, it's lovely to know you are providing a safe place for them to shelter and hibernate. Water is the basis of many habitats. And adding it to your garden is one of the most useful things you can do for wildlife. It doesn't need to be a big wild pond. There are lots of smaller options too. A dish of water accessible to birds, hedgehogs and, sm and other small creatures can be a lifeline in dry weather. Birds will love a bird bath to drink and wash in. Other things you can do include making a bucket pond or bog garden. You can find out how to do this on the Wildlife Trust website. Plants are the base of all garden food chains, so if you can provide the basics, this will boost wildlife of all types. A good tip for choosing food, providing plants in your garden, is to look around your local area and park to see what the wildlife is eating there. I've got five recommendations that you could try. Lavender and honeysuckle provide nectar and smell lovely. Lavender can grow in pots or window boxes too. If you have a bit more room, cherries and black thumbs produce beautiful blossoms and then fruit providing food before winter sets in. Lastly, sunflowers are great 
They add colour and produce lots of energy packed seeds too. Although snow might be fun for us, it's one of the most hardest times in the year for birds. So it's good we put out homes for them to shelter and while it's snowing, put out food for them. Although winter feeding is the most beneficial, food shortages can occur at any time of the year. By feeding all year round, you give them a better chance to survive and make your garden really attractive to them. Without connections, our gardens won't provide as much benefit to wildlife, making everything a bit grey. We can't just rely on public spaces. Our gardens need to flourish and provide habitat and bring back the colour. Much of our garden wildlife is threatened. Animals like hedgehogs, frogs and newts will walk miles to find what they need. If we make it easy for them to move from garden to garden, they can avoid having to cross roads or other hazards. To make a hedgehog highway, get together with your neighbours to make a 13 centimetre hole about the same size of a standard tile to connect your gardens. If you were really ambitious, you could replace your fence with a hedge, providing nesting sites and food for birds too. It's best to try and reduce your food waste as much as possible, but some veggie peelings and organic waste is unavoidable. By combining this with your garden waste, grass cuttings and brown cardboard and newspaper and mixing it well, you can make your own compost. Let's find out more about how this happens and get closer to the action. Good compost is great for the garden as it's full of nature's expert gardeners, worms. Earthworms eat the cane plant material and do not damage growing plants. This improves the fertility of the soil. They are important to soil structure and improve drainage. Best leave them to go on with their work. Making your own compost is a great way to reduce the use of chemical fertilisers and stop buying harvested peat compost. It also means less waste needs to be processed by your local council. The previous sections have shown how to encourage more wildlife into your gardens. This can really help going organic because birds, hedgehogs, frogs and many more animals are great at getting rid of slugs and snails and other creatures you might consider pests. Your outside space can be a source of optimism for the planet, a home for wildlife, a source of organic vegetables with zero food miles, a place to relax and improve our mental health and well-being in. The Wildlife Trust believe in a future Britain where nature is a normal part of childhood and where wildlife thrives across the landscape. To achieve this, we need a new approach where wildlife and natural systems are joined up and working everywhere. This nature recovery network allows plants, animals, seeds, nutrients and water to move from place to place and enables the natural world to adapt to change. It provides plants and animals with places to live, feed and breed. Your gardens can help form part of this nature recovery network, supporting the role played by the wildlife reserves, parks, farms, roadside verges, and many more areas. We are optimistic that by sowing this idea, we can all help create a change by gardening for a wilder future.